guys, it's Chris, and welcome to another uh, video, and I don't know why my battery wasn't charging. Oh, because I never turned it on. This is, well, it's an Amiga 3000, and it works fine. Um, this is the original Commodore LED PCB that always gets kind of smashed when you put the case on. It's a very precise fit where the holes in the case go over this and people have a tendency to push the case in and it cracks the ever so fine lines and I've soldered on mine uh, quite a few times to get it back in action and if you can find these LEDs uh, that's great if not you can use they are four hole you can use two small ones gooped together and it's ghetto but it works what I have going on here is if I bend my board and wiggle and jiggle the hard drive light works but every time I take the case off it bumps and something happens and I don't know what's up reached out to John I knew he had these suckers and I sent him some money and he sent me several of these boards these are repops of the original Commodore perfect Got the John Hertel logo on there, A3000, LED replacement PCB, Rev1, and some numbers that I can't even read with this thing on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unsolder very carefully my wire set and my two LEDs and plop them into this sucker. And hopefully we'll be back in business in no time. So let me bust some soldering stuff down. Because, as you can see, I'm totally filled up on both sides with crap and repairs to do. So I figured I'd take a day for myself and just work on my own things for a minute. Because I am an expert filmer. I can't hold and debraid and solder at the same time. So I am going to try to debraid it on this loose thing. I don't know if this is going to work. Let me see if I can squish this around to not burn myself so you can see what I'm doing. You know, ouch, that's hot. A good hot iron will really just, you can see it sucking right up in there. And then this will actually just, should just be able to touch it and come right out. So there is our first dude done. Oh no, he even labeled him. BCC, power SCSI, power is the center block. I don't want to screw that up, so I'm going to solder that in like right now. Love new PCBs. Things just work. They just flow so nicely. So here is the board on the new. Now with those three in, I need to remove the power light. And I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to debraid it. Don't know how well you're going to see this. I'm literally just debraiding the LEDs. And I'm not holding it forever. I'm just sucking up as much solder as I can. Alright. Ooh, got some goop in there. What is that? Melty crap. Oh, there's like a silica gasket in there. I don't know. So that is the power light. Let's burn yourself. And that'll go in here. Just like that. And we're going to dab some solder in it. And I'm just going to do the right thing and just stick it on the table crooked. Yeah. Just give it a dab so I can align it. That is so nice. New circuit boards are just so nice. They don't give you any crap. You don't blow traces off. It's wonderful. I'm going to cut back my 9,211 feet of braid here. Whenever you need a tool that's dull or wore out. And I'm going to repeat the process on this uh, solder blob on this side. Now, I am going to keep the original PCB. I have no idea why. Alright, there's the other LED this can go and we can actually then take a look at the damage so if you look here you can clearly see 
I can't clearly see that these pads over here were just totally gone and uh, there was some bridging up here and like over here I had to like run solder to it it happens because when you put the case on people shove this in well it goes this way it gets shoved in and it actually bends the PCB because people keep smashing it into the case I don't need this thing anymore for now I'll just stick it there and then I'm going to take the light and put that one on here. I'm keeping the same orientation so I do not screw myself up. And then I can use this knotted up solder that I found on the table and we'll zap it in. And that's that. So if I did this as incorrectly as I think I did, we uh, we might have some some hard drive power light activity in like 10 seconds as soon as I move this blazing hot soldering station onto the floor where it can catch on fire. Now here we go, here's the 3000 monitors over here so I'm not really worried about it right this second. Take all this metal, just throw it right in the Amiga, actually the trash can, and this is what I'm talking about. This sits on here like this so the cable runs through the bottom here, it plugs right into the front of the motherboard, there we go and it goes on here like this so the screw goes here and I've tried washers no washers your mom and it has two pins that it sits on okay so there's the two pins it sits on and falls off let me get a screw oh my oh my jeez Liz can you do this anymore I think the screws crooked look at that use the wrong tool so you have a hell of a time get just uh, carefully. There we go. This board is just a tad off. Look at that. It is just a tad off. I won't worry about that right now. I just want to see if I get SCSI light. Power, and I should get SCSI, and boom, we get lights again. Yay! So I did that correctly. So now, just to get this mounted, it does fit on the PCB. Or, um, the PCB fits on these tabs so it has these two tabs right here that fit in these two holes and you're supposed to get a screw in there but if I put the tabs where they're supposed to be the screw doesn't line up the original Commodore one of course lines up perfectly the Repop has larger holes so it kind of floats a bit I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but the hole is just a little too low so I'm gonna have to wonder about case alignment issues when I if I get this in to hold I could bend these catch tabs it goes in crooked it cannot fit that way ah uh. so welcome to Commodore Amiga repair where you have great intentions of doing things and then uh, you can't. Yeah, the hole is just like in the wrong spot. Alright, so this needs to come See this, these pegs, which I don't want to move are what align the piece to the case. I just don't want to bend. I don't want to bend them. F it. Let's just just bend it. Just get in there. So we'll just tighten it down as tight as we can get it. That's crooked. So let's put the case on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you slide the case over the tuck in your stuff so you don't catch all of your cables on the inside of the case as you pull it over and under your SCSI now as I put this in together these two holes here will physically line up with the LEDs there we go now that's what gives it its nice look and now I don't have to worry about that again so that is how you replace a PCB Rev 1, so John's is a Rev 1 too. And these were fine, it's just from years of people taking the case on and off, if you were off just a little bit, you're going to bang into the LEDs which stick out,
causing stress on the board and you can see my board she's she's got some bend she's crooked as a politician and uh, you can well I don't know if you can but it's really flexible so easily bent easily did I say that correctly easily bent and uh, the traces over 25 plus years have just degraded from being stressed from the LEDs causing cracks and mess ups but I'm gonna keep this because I have no idea it has the word Commodore on it and it's probably worth four thousand dollars really don't know before I do anything just to make sure that everything is functioning fine I like to run like a virus Z scan just to generate some activity so now you can clearly see the hard drive light is hard driving there we go once virus Z loads I will just as you can see the hard drive still doing its thing I will uh, do a file scan here on like sys or work select all and just let it do its thing and as you can clearly see it's working perfectly so John thank you for making these boards thank you for all you do and I hope this helps you if you need a 3000 hard drive uh, repair reach out to John he'll say one of these for eighty eight dollars no I'm just kidding you know get back to you when he can he's a very busy person too let him have some time for himself but I got these probably a year ago and you know it takes a long time to get motivated to do anything when you have 274 repairs and a bunch of projects to do and it's nice to take some time for yourself for once so I hope this video finds you well thank you all for watching as always I hope you learned something